this is Sakura and welcome to Samurai Tarot. This is your April 2021 reading. This is your life spread right now. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So let's start with your past energy. Life spread, past energy, Knight of Swords, uh, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, and then the Snowball Hemingway. So I see here with the Knight of Wands, you have this back and forth passionate energy. Um, you could be having a new interest on something, um, new hobby, um, new learning something new or trying out new things in your life, but you're kind of getting bored too quickly and you're trying to switch things up and making sure that you really want this um, new thing in your life. So that's what I see in, in your past energy. Now for your present energy, you have the moon and the BRF cat. Um, the moon can signify that you could be dealing with a cancer and um, it also means that something is hidden and it will be revealed. So I feel like there's a secret or an information that will be revealed and everybody is going to know about it with the BRF cat. So it could be a good news or a bad news for some of you. So prepare for that new information or if you're the one who's going to be um, spreading that um, information or the cancer person that you're dealing with. So watch out for that. Now for your future energy, you have the Queen of Swords and Trim. So I see this future energy as you trying to cut off the things that are unnecessary and wasting your energy. Um, you could be dropping some people, cutting off connections with people, or could be changing your ways, um, habits, bad habits, and um practically focusing on removing what is not serving you and then below that you have trim um you could be hmm i think for a certain time in april you're gonna travel and then you're gonna meet someone could be a potential friend or a love connection. So that's what I see for the future energy. And your bottom of the deck is three of pentacles. You could be working on a project or working on something new in your life. And if you're focusing on that, you're, while you're working on that, change will arrive. Um, and then there's going to be movement in your life. With the chariot, will of fortune change? I see this as change, and then the chariot, um, the change will give movement in your life. You could be progressing on another level, or you could be moving to a different place, going to a di going to a different place, probably um, changing career. Now for your life advice, you have your. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So, you're trying to clear out your energy for the month of April and you're focusing on yourself. So, that's good, Virgo. I think that's it for your life spread. Now, let's move on with your career spread. Okay, Virgo, for your career spread, past energy, you have the Five of Pentacles and then the DC Cat. I feel like you are exhausted, overworked, um, uh, you're lacking rest, probably you're, you're getting sick already, and... It's taking a toll on your um, physical and mental state. 
So this is your past energy. Now for the present energy, you have the Four of Swords and the the beverage chat. So I feel like with the Four of Swords, this card is telling you to take some time to rest and recover, recuperate, and then maybe find some time to get off yourself from the work environment, travel, or maybe do something that would make you relax so you'll be able to recover from the over exhaustion that if you don't you might lead to a really bad illness so make sure to rest now for the future energy um you have the four of wands and then the fosh one cat I see the four of wands. This is probably at home, finding balance at home. You could be, your rest could be, um, leading towards to coming home to family or having some family time, and catching up to your family members, and um, having that balance in your personal life. Now with the Fosh one cut, I see here that your work, for some of you, your work is a priority and that's why you forget to rest and recuperate for t from time to time. So I think this card is indicating that you need to take a break sometimes and you have to detach yourself from work because I feel like the four of ones you're bringing work at home if you are work at home <laughs> you know what I mean so if you're not work at home don't bring work to your I uh, know to your family because they feel like they're not the priority so make sure that you Create that work-life balance, okay? So rest, recuperate, and then balance your family, personal life. So for the bottom of the deck, you have the temperance over here, the queen of pentacles, and then the ten of swords. So these three cards is indicating you're gonna make your life in balance, in balance. So... You're going to be in, in balance, balancing everything in your life right now, work, life, love, could be anything. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. With the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you're, prioritizing, you're prioritizing your personal um, needs, um, self-growth, and then prioritizing uh, changes in your life. Now, with that happening... There is Ten of Swords. Don't be scared. I see this as a big cycle coming to an end. Um, this could be that you're ending that toxic cycle with your work. And you're trying to remove the um, toxic people around your life regarding work. That is bringing you that exhaustion. So that's a good sign, Virgo. It's a really good sign. You're finding that balance in your life. So that's what I really see. So with the advice card for your career, it says here, My happiness is a, di uh, is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So it's really precise here that your personal life your happiness is the priority right now so make sure to take it easy and just let the universe um, handle it for you and yeah rest take that rest you need it don't get sick okay so I think that's it for your career spread now let's move on with your love spread Okay, Virgo, this is your love spread. Wow, this is a strong feminine energy right here. Now, for the 
past energy, you have here the Page of Pentacles and the Hang for Senate. I see this as you realizing your value. So this is you're reevaluating your self value, okay? So I think you've been pri prioritizing a lot of other things other than yourself. Um so you're realizing your value now and here you're voicing out your opinions. Um you could be voicing out to a person or to to someone that you have a connection with um with hank of Se hank for senate you could be stating um the things that you see fit that needs to change so i see that you're applying change in your life right now so that's your past energy now, with the Queen of Pentacles invested in your present energy, I see here that you might be prioritizing finances right now, Virgo. Some of you could be focusing on finances here. And you could be trying to make your own fortune. Um... Gaining that financial balance, um, financial stability, I mean, on your own. So, you're probably trying to, um, you're trying to detach yourself from getting any help, external help, with regards your financial stability. So, right now love is in the back burner <laughs> that's what i see with the present energy your love is not really your priority right now because you're prioritizing yourself showing that in the future energy with the empress and the puss in boots now with the empress this is a very abundant card very strong feminine energy and um you could be gaining a lot of self-worth on yourself. Um, you could be thinking that you're better off alone and you can manage on your own. You don't need any relationship or connection. And yeah, you're happy with how you manage things in your life. And with the bottom here, you have the post and boots. You could be receiving, this is you, the big cat and the small um, mouth right there is, could be two new love offers. So in the April, there could be two new people coming in your life, expressing their interest to have a connection or relationship with you. But like I said earlier, Love is not your priority right now. So with the bottom of the deck, with Nine of Pentacles, I see that you will disregard those two new offers and you're going to prioritize yourself and do some self-love and self-healing. So this is a very strong feminine energy, Virgo. This means that you're really cultivating yourself, um, being independent. Now, for the next cards, you have, yeah, balance, a lot of balance. Um, there could be a little bit of struggle. I see this um, Seven of Swords. You could be a bit struggling, but yeah, you're going to find that balance. That's good. Slow but steady balance. Okay, now for your advice card, love advice card is oneness is my true nature. It really hits one. All of these cards are single. So, for some of you Virgos, you could be single this April. So, don't be sad because you're doing some personal growth here and that's good. Okay, Virgo, I think that's it for your love spread and that's it for your entire reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading and this resonates with you. Thank you for watching. 
Thank you for watching and see you on your next reading on the month of May. Bye!